When I moved back to Houston um, for the, the second time that I'd lived in Houston in uh, 1998, um, I was really surprised that there was very little craft being shown. And uh, my daughter had just graduated from the Kansas City Art Institute. So we were looking for studio space. I met my co-founder, Ann Lancaster. Uh, so we had this idea that instead of my daughter having a studio on her own, that we should try to find some other artists to create a synergy and, um, and, and maybe a gallery where they could sell their things. We talked to artists, gallery owners, uh, collectors, and everybody seemed to think that this was a really great idea. I don't know, it was just, it was just so gradual and it just seemed like the right thing to do. It was very exciting. We were scheduled to open September 22nd of 2001. Uh, then of course 9-11 happened and we weren't sure that we should go ahead and open. But we decided to go ahead anyway, even though we weren't sure very many people would come. Uh, opening night, we were absolutely shocked when um, so many people showed up that you could hardly move. I had never experienced the pure joy of being involved in the arts before. It just, it's just been wonderful. When we were deciding uh, exactly what the Houston Center for Contemporary Craft would look like, uh, Ann and I looked across the country and we couldn't really find any other place that incorporated artists into the whole design of the building. An atmosphere where the making was the important thing. We're really very pleased with the artists that we've had uh, come through for residencies. We have five studios. Each artist is here from anywhere from three months to a year. And we always try to keep a good balance of the different craft media in our studios. I've stepped back, I'm, not, I'm still on the board here, uh, but I'm not involved in the day-to-day -day anymore but it's still pure joy for me. Sarah Morgan is among the most humble and self-effacing supporters of contemporary craft that you'll ever meet, but she has an outsized impact on the field through her support of organizations and programs, their expansion, their evolution, and uh, there are so many things in this field that just wouldn't be possible without her leadership and support. She has an uncanny ability to uh, bring people together and that team to create something really remarkable. She's very hard to say no to. And I think that enthusiasm and that passion helps other people want to say yes to things like the Houston Center for Contemporary Craft as well. Anne and I may have been the co-founders, but we definitely could not have done it without a lot of people helping us all along the way. Uh, from the, the first people we went to, to ask whether this was a good idea and to get their advice, uh, to our uh, initial board and our uh, first advisory council, which did a lot more than just give advice. <laughs> they were warned when they said yes, but they pitched in and helped an awful lot. That old saying, it takes a village, it truly does. and. This child has been raised very well by the village. <laughs> I'm Sarah Morgan. I'm an advocate for the arts, somewhat of a collector, and I co-founded the Houston Center for Contemporary Craft in Houston, Texas.